Hey, hey, what's going on, Dodgers Nation? DMAC here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. We got a rumors update on Carlos Correa in just a second. But a quick reminder for all the latest Dodgers news and rumors, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I'm with your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Would it change your mind at all when it comes to Carlos Correa if you knew that Trey Turner wasn't willing to sign an extension with the Dodgers. Let me know down below, would it change your mind about the Dodgers potentially signing Carlos Correa? Would you be more interested in potentially bringing him in on maybe a short-term deal or something like that if you knew the Dodgers weren't extending Trey Turner? Let me know down below. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So you guys already know that we're not going to miss anything when it comes to offseason news and rumors. And today we've got an update on Carlos Correa. Yes, Carlos Correa, the Dodgers villain, the player that most Dodgers don't want to see come to L.A. I actually did a poll a few weeks ago. Would you want to see Carlos Correa in Dodger blue? 13.8 percent said yes, while 86.2 percent said no. Now it's with 4,641 votes. So the vast majority of Dodger fans don't want to see him in Dodger blue, but he has been linked with L.A., so we have to cover this story because, hey, we don't want you to get blindsided by a Carlos Correa signing and act like you didn't see it coming. Well, here's the update. Well, Buster Only, in his piece for ESPN a few days ago, wrote, Houston might be the most motivated buyer remaining in the shortstop market, so it stands to reason the Astros continue to do due diligence on the two best shortstops remaining, Carlos Correa or Trevor Story. Their history with Correa is complicated, of course, because he has turned down two off offers in the past year. Separately, owner Jim Crane has assured others in the organization he is not interested in extending an offer beyond six years. According to one source, Correa was offered a $275 million deal by the Tigers spread out over 10 years. If Correa can find an offer similar to the $300 million plus agreements of Francisco Lindor and Corey Seager, it's possible that he and the Astros could explore a shorter term deal with a higher average annual salary, say for $35 million a year with an opt-out after two years. So heading into the offseason, the Tigers, they were the favorites to land Carlos Correa. They were the team that everyone expected would sign the Platinum Glove Award winner from last year, that he would reunite with his manager from Houston, A.J. Hinch. But it looks like they lowballed him. 10 years, $275 million. That was never going to get it done for Carlos Correa. A $27.5 million AAV. No, that is a lowball offer for a player of his caliber especially when you consider that Corey Seager, a player that has durability issues, has defensive issues, is offensively, it's debatable whether he's better than Carlos Correa or not. I think it's close. I think one's a left-handed batter, one's a right-handed batter. Both have had their moments in the postseason, but Seager got 10 years, $325 million. And it was pretty much universally accepted that Correa was the top free agent this offseason. So you knew 275 was never going to get it done. But I think it's really interesting because will he really go back to the Houston and Astros after they've lowballed him after they haven't been willing to go past six years you see 160 million yes I think they could offer him a deal like Buster only mentioned 35 million dollars a year a nice big payday but if you're Carlos Correa at that point would you want to look for another team the Chicago Cubs I don't know if you saw this but Cubs fans are out trying to get Carlos Correa to sign with them they're remixing the Christmas song Gloria in Excelsis Deo <laughs> And then Correa, he quote tweeted saying, happy holidays to you all, and had a Christmas tree emoji and a blue heart emoji. And I saw some Dodger fans in the comments and the replies saying, hey, I hope that blue heart means Dodger blue. So there are some Dodger fans that want LA to sign him. Now, for me, the question that keeps me up at night is how real is the Dodgers' interest in Carlos Correa? We've gone through the rumors at this point. Yes, he has been linked to LA, but based on this new information that he was offered a 10-year, 275 
$25 million deal with the Tigers and that the Astros could consider bringing him back to Houston on a short-term high AAV deal. Well, what could that mean for the Dodgers? Well, one, we know that Andrew Friedman and the Dodgers organization, they have been interested in trying to sign elite players to shorter-term deals. Look what they did last year with Trevor Bauer. Look at the deal they proposed to Bryce Harper. They would like to get these guys on four- or five-year deals. And with Carlos Correa, you could have, like Buster only said, an opt-out after the second year. Maybe you pay him $40 million per season, and at that point, he would still be 30 years old, under 30. He could still potentially get an eight- or ten-year deal based on how well he played, based on if he stayed injury-free, how productive he was. He's a multi-time All-Star. And if you were to get Carlos Correa on a short-term contract, you're basically getting a player that's going to be hungry, a player that's going to be determined to set himself up for another massive payday. He's going to be motivated. It's not going to be like one of these deals where they sign on the dotted line and they know they're going to be with that team for an eternity. No, he is going to have business to take care of. And if you are a team that's going to get to sign Correa on a short-term deal, I think you could feel good about it. Now, when it comes to the Dodgers, I still have my doubts that they would really bring in Carlos Correa. I gave you those poll numbers earlier and just imagine when that news breaks. What would the reaction be from Dodgers Nation? Because if you thought the Dodgers signing Trevor Bauer last offseason broke the Dodgers internet. That will be nothing compared to Carlos Correa. It would be wild. It'd be very interesting to get everyone's reaction because you would really have to trust this organization. You'd really have to trust Andrew Freeman and the front office because that means that they feel that this would be the best move for the team. It would help them win World Series championships. He does bring a lot of passion. He brings a lot of excitement. He brings a lot of tenacity to the game that some players just don't. I think that's one thing you can't really teach is that that passion, that box office appeal, the pointing to your watch when it's Correa time. I mean, that's good for the game, but I just have my doubts that the Dodgers would be willing to bring in a player as polarizing as Correa, as hated as the 2017 Astros. They just don't see it. I mean, bringing in a trash throw after everything this organization has been through, but at the same token, maybe they want to move on. Maybe they want to put what happened in 2017 behind them, and maybe they say, hey, we got the best player from that franchise, and he's going to help us win championships. Maybe that would help the organization move past it. I think that it's going to be a difficult pill to swallow. I think it's going to be tough to sell to the fan base. But what I think is the most interesting part about these Carlos Correa to the Dodgers rumors is how does that impact Trey Turner? We've talked about it in the past, but when you look at it, what if you knew that Trey Turner wasn't going to sign an extension with the Dodgers? What if you knew that Trey Turner was going to walk after next season? Then would you be willing to consider Carlos Correa? I think that's the big question, and I think maybe that's what the organization is considering. And also, maybe they're a part of this because maybe they're trying to leverage a deal with Trey Turner, saying, hey, sign this extension or get the roadblocks together, set the groundwork on an extension, and hey, maybe if you're not willing to sign it, maybe we will go offer Carlos Correa a big bag. You never know what's going on. You know there's tampering behind the scenes. You know these teams talk. It's just how it always is in any sport. I'm not saying that I know of anything that's going on, but I find it hard to believe that there's complete silence right now between the players and the owners. There has to be some talk between agents and just feelers out. So you know that there is stuff going on at the moment. It's just not out there. It's not public. But when it comes to Carlos Correa and the Dodgers, I still, in my heart of hearts, don't think it's going to happen. But I do think it's very interesting, the fact that the Dodgers are still linked to him. And I do think when it comes to the $275 million offer by the Tigers and the short-term offer that the Astros could make, that's where the Dodgers could come in. I think that that's why it's interesting because we know the Dodgers want to sign players of Carlos Correa's caliber on these short-term high AAV deals. That's why we have to pay attention to this as a development. But me, I just hope we sign Freddie Freeman. I hope that Freddie Freeman signs with the Dodgers. But we're going to be covering all these rumors, just a couple thoughts, a couple updates on Carlos Correa. But let me know down below in the comment section, would that change your opinion on Carlos Correa and your willingness to accept the Dodgers signing him if you knew Trey Turner wasn't going to sign an extension. My name is DMAC. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, all offseason long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all the latest Dodgers Nation merch, head over to gearup.la, download the new Dodgers Nation app for my Android and iPhone users, and until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.